Next time, try challenging us without obstructing an investigation. You've angered the monarch. Yeah, seriously, dude. <sighs> From the onset of rigor mortis, the stiffening of the muscles, the time of death is estimated to be between 20 and 2200 hours. Uh, that's still quite early for such a crime to take place. Note that there are two exterior wounds, pressure marks around the neck, and a long cut running from chest to abdomen. Yeah, Blood marks part. on her right hand tell us she was gripping something round in her right hand. Why are y'all looking at your own hands? Her like... skull is also fractured, but that is unrelated to the cause of death. It probably happened to her after she was killed. Now, I first thought death by suffocation, due to the marks on her neck. But after further investigation, I now have a different conclusion. All right, what do you got? The direct cause of death was loss of blood from the wound. So in other words, she was gutted like a fish and Which that's how she died. She was cut up while she was still alive. Yes, uh, a sharp knife was used. It was inserted beneath the sternum and then quickly sliced downwards. The excessive loss of blood from her internal organs is what actually killed her. Ugh. Her nails are clean and with no skin cells from the attacker. She also doesn't appear to have been bound nor badly beaten. She was apparently killed without resistance. The most tragic thing, however, was that she was unable to speak her story to anyone who could hear her cries. Well, that sounds like she was like probably killed by someone she knew and trusted. The perpetrator cut out Anna's tongue. Oh. Well, I believe she was drugged first to phase her consciousness, and then the killer killed her. I oh, recall with that. I was like thinking like maybe it was someone that she knew and trusted. Most likely has a deep, traumatized past concerning women. And then they just went surprised and slashed and just like them she was in such shock and shit like that. Cutting out the tongue suggests a very lonely individual. Either that or a truly hardcore sadist. I'm going with the sadist part. He must get off on watching women suffer, especially when they can't answer back. Now, he watched as the blood pumped from her body, as she gradually grew cold. Now, a case in Seattle in 1985 was much like... Usher, please, limit your report to your findings as a doctor. Criminal profiling is my job. Yeah, don't be doing my job. You don't see me coming here doing a fucking coronary work. You're wrong, also. Anna died fully, deeply, painfully aware of what was happening to her. But, uh... Okay, how? Tell me, what time did it stop raining on the night Anna was killed? Uh, just before I went to bed. Right after the movie on TV ended, so... Around 1 a.m.? What movie was it? An American Werewolf in London. Oh, that... Directed by John Landis, 1981. So the rain stopped, accompanied by the ending song, Blue Moon. Okay, what does that have to do with anything? George, would you mind if I examined Anna myself? What more do you hope to find? Well... I'm sure I mentioned that I have a personal interest in cases like these. What are you, Sherlock Holmes? Uh... All right, there we go. Why would we start observing the doctor? Uh, this is of if I pray to look around at it, it must have cried before she was murdered. Well, yeah, obviously. Uh, you have a blonde hair, it's thinking of death. Uh, what about not like there we go. Yeah, it is. We've been looking at it. There we go. Hand. She's wearing fake fingernails. All right. There's the mark. Uh, it was uh, around six hours after death. 
circular with shaped like a peace mark. Alright. Uh, tongue is removed. Look at the edges. Like, why would we start looking at the doctor when we were, like, observing the bodies ourselves? From her lack of resistance, I'd say that Anna's injuries happened very quickly. From a person she trusted. She was then left to cry herself to death. Zach, it's all starting to come together. The perpetrator stayed with her for at least two hours until it stopped raining. At the estimated time of her death, it was still raining. But you can still see tear marks on her cheeks. That means she was killed under a roof somewhere. Hmm. She was then carried into the woods after it stopped raining. Hmm. Yeah, no. there, there's one other thing. Her tongue was removed with a very blunt knife. Well, that's just pleasant. Fact, it's more likely it was simply chopped off. Asha, are you a passionate man? Hmm. Okay. Not particularly, I mean, but Sorry. I am man enough should the moment call for it. George, how about you? Very passionate, yes. Especially when it comes to women. But I don't see what that has to do with anything. Yeah, I know, right? George, the perpetrator is just like you. He's passionate about women. In a different way. He's a passionate kisser. This was a kiss of death. Oh, I get it. He, he was making out, and then he just grabbed the tongue and ripped it out. Yeah! Oh, my God. I was trying to figure that out. Like, how do you get the tongue? Print from a wound like this. But this is still a big lead. Okay. I was trying to figure out that part. I'm sorry. I'm just, like, very interested in mystery shit. What are you doing? Ah, there. Check for a second. A shame, but our old-time all-American sightseeing tour just came to an end. This case is now under the jurisdiction of the FBI. I'm assuming command. I'll need you to assist me in the investigation. What in the hell do you mean, Agent Morgan? I know I said I was passionate, but you can't think I did this. That's not why I'm assuming command, George. You're a suspect just as much as every other passionate man on Earth. Let me show you something. Okay, uh, they, they, yeah, they're the same. I got a better look at earlier. So I'm guessing, like, you, like, FBI has worked on several cases with, uh, with these things. Red things. There you go. Amazing, huh? I'm sure you have a lot of questions, but most of the details are top secret. George, Emily, we should be going. No need to stay here any longer. Okay. I have to sign the release. Just give me a moment. Very well. I'll go on ahead. I can't take it any longer down here. I gotta go have your smokes. Bishop takes Queen. His rook takes your queen, and your knight takes rook. And check me. Huh? No, I'm with you on that one, George. I don't get it either. My first victory in the Grandmaster ranking. Oh, okay. Alright, and what the fuck just happened? York, you are in a hospital? You just now noticed that the, the, the shit. You just now noticed this. Zach, they're here. Ah, wonderful. Yeah, I, this still works. You can buy a light pop or some crack eyes. Uh, I'm done. <laughs> uh, 
No, it's just it's crackers, man. I mean, like I know it's a racial slur, but it's one of those racial slurs that you can't you can't not say because there's a food. The only way I can go and back into here. <laughs> and she's up and walking. Oh, of course she is. I mean, yeah, you, you got what? We are in hell. Okay, yeah, I do have equipped. Uh, great black spots all over the ground. And what are we at? Nothing. Alright. have a spectator body just to jump out and... Bingo! I got 10 of I got infinite ammo! I hear somebody. Are you having fun, Anna, running around hell, laughing, giggling? Oh, look, it's a nurse. Guess we're in Silent Hill now. Great. Yes. Oh, you're dead. Okay, yeah, you're dead. This is just what this is. It's just Silent Hill. We went to the Earth world. Hi. How you doing? Look, I don't need a checkup. Oh my god, even the nurse is limbo. Great. Uh, oh, you're dead. What? Well, I kind of figured you were dead, but is that a... Okay, no, it's a hose. I was about to say, is that a safe? There was a door, you know. Are you dead? Please tell me you're dead. Oh, oh yeah, you were dead. You gotta get a good shot in the head, and then another one, and they fall down. Shoot him in the head and shoot him in the ass. That's the proper way of doing things. Ooh, metal. We get the metal. We go to the metal. We get the metal. Hi, how you doing? Is this explosive? Well, it lured you. There was a door there. I think. I'm not entirely sure. I can't see it. Hey, stop it. Stop it. Ah, there was a door there. I was right. I'll take this, thank you. I don't know why I need it. I got infinite ammo. And nothing. How about here? And, oh, no. Not nothing. Just more bullets. That I don't need. Because I got infinite ammo. Hi. What was I only supposed to like have infinite ammo in the prologue? Sit down. Was I only like have, supposed to have infinite ammo in the uh, in the prologue? And then, uh, I, 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 the, 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 I broke the game. Hi. Ah. Could you? Back up, please, alright? This is a no limbo area. This is a hospital. I will gladly kill you. I think that's what I said. It just said, kill me. Now come here, and I'll, and I'll do that. Just, just stay right there, and I'll do that. Hey. Hey, stop jape uh, j jape up jape ups matter. Don't jape ups matter all over the place. Sit down. Oh, you're back. Great. Ah, come on! I just got done killing you. No limbo. Bad. Amazing. Are they going? Is okay. No, that's it on that one. Eh, 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 eh. Please tell me I get. Yeah, there we go. Okay, that guy our attention. Bullseye. I think I'm starting to understand it. If if it zeroes in, I got its head. But if it does doesn't, like, like, look, see, I'm on it. 
Hit. Shit. Alright, lady, stop Jim. Uh, stop Jacob sliding. Alright, this is not Jacob Flatter. This is daily premonition. Should I explore some more? Hey! Oh, you want to die? Well, why are you trying to. Oh, maybe you're just trying to attack me. Because if you die. Oh, the music picks up when they get closer. Huh. Oh, you don't want to die. <laughs> just lowers his hand slowly. Like that stuff. Fucked up ship. The OP. The fuck was that? No, seriously, what the fuck was that? I just heard. <laughs> Coffee. Some black coffee. Nice black coffee. That's way too much caffeine for me. I can't I cannot drink that much caffeine. Like the most I can drink I can my drink I can uh, uh, do it. Well fair enough. But you will at least put it Okay good. Something's gonna happen, something's gonna attack me. Boss time? Hey! 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 Amazing. Okay, just stay still. Stop and stop, Jacob Limbo. Oh, kill me! You said you said kill you, so you mean kill me? No, uh, that, um, uh, that no. No, you you can die as much as you want. I would I would greatly prefer to like not die. It may be inevitable, but fuck it. I I I like to like extend my life for as long as possible. But YOLO, shut up. God, I hate YOLO. It's like people. It's, whenever I hear YOLO, it's it's. It's the phrase that people use to justify doing really, really stupid, stupid bullshit. Like, YOLO! Oh, alright. Let your life get cut down quickly. And I'll, I'll be over here. Enjoying mine. Ah. <sighs> Uh, there we are. I was about to say, nope, it's the wrong card. Oh, okay. Oh, I forgot to run. So, okay, so maybe the music actually picks up whenever it damn well pleases. This is a freaky ass room. I'm gonna save. I'm gonna go to the bathroom because I gotta go to the bathroom. 